How's it going, people? Well, I found my olives, so I'm going to do a, a J-Dev video. But first, I'm going to try something new. Ostrich jerky. <laughs> Last time it was alligator. <sighs> All right. Probably tastes like a very big chicken. Dang. Mmm. Tastes a little more like turkey. Anyway, I added some more ice, and one more dry vermouth. Mmm, this is really good. I'm eating Big Bird. Romney would approve. Hmm. And we're doing them James Bond style, shaken and not stirred. So I don't have to bring as much stuff. Found my olives this time. Mm. I like ostrich jerky. Pure delight. Mm. All right, let's see. Which one will I read? Um, that one. <laughs> will the suffering ever end? No, they'll keep showing up at your door and bothering you. All right. Would you say yes, no, or maybe? I'd say one of those. About will suffering ever end? It gets better. Oh, even better with the olives. I don't know why that is. But, um... Uh, what the Bible says. God, and then there's a lacuni, uh, will wipe all tears from their eyes, and there will be no more death, suffering, crying, or pain. And that's Revelation 21, 3, 4, contemporary English version. So they're using a different version this time, because it suits their purposes. All right. What that can mean for you. Assurance that God's do, God, assurance that God does not cause our problems. Nice to know. Uh, James 1.13. If you look that up, it'll prove that it's not God's fault. It's ours. Um, comfort from knowing that God feels for us when we suffer. He just likes to watch, that's all. Um, Zechariah uh, 2.8. Uh, hope that all suffering will end. And we're just talking about hope. Uh, Psalm 37, 9 through 11. All right. So look those up. They'll clear things up for you. Uh, can we really believe what the Bible says? Uh, what about axe handles floating and guys walking on water? And, um, oh, guy being swallowed by a whale and staying in its belly for three days without being crapped out its other end. <laughs> but instead of being puked up on shore. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? I suppose no. <laughs> I'd say you can probably give about as much weight to Aesop's fables. It's basically true in a storytelling sense. All right. Yes! Oh, they say yes. Uh, for at least two reasons. they got two reasons this time. One, God hates suffering and injustice. He does. Is that why he drowned the whole planet? Except for eight people on a boat full of animals? 
Someone had to shovel the shit. <laughs> um, consider how Jehovah God felt when his people in the Bible times were cruelly mistreated. He caused it a lot of times, but it wasn't his fault. It was theirs. Uh, oh. uh, the Bible says that he was distressed because of those who were shoving them around. Uh, Judges 2.18 New World Translation so we're off to a whole different version of the Bible. They just jump from one Bible to another if it says the things the way they want them to. Which is weird because they rewrote the whole damn thing for themselves and paraphrased it. Um, <clears throat> they should just use that one. Um, God has strong feelings about those who harm others. Like King David, right? Uh, for example, the Bible says that hands that are shedding innocent blood are detestable to him. Who was the one that did all the killing in the book of Job? You know, killed whole families and later on, hey, I'll make up for it. I'll give you a whole new family. It'll be better than the last one. Remember he told the devil, don't touch him. And it was God's wind that came down and God's fire that came down from heaven. Yeah. But it was Job's fault somehow. Because he wasn't God. God said, hey, are you me? Then shut the fuck up. All right. I mean, you didn't make Leviathan, damn it. All right. Um, oh, anyway, that's Proverbs 6, 16, and 17. God cares for us as individuals. He just wants us all to be sheep. Um, not only does each person know that his own plague and his own pain... Wait. Not only does each person know his own plague and his own pain, but so does Jehovah. Poor, poor God. It's hurting him. All right. Uh, Second Chronicles uh, 6, 30, 29 and 30. Uh, through his kingdom, Jehovah will soon end the suffering of each individual, but right now it's just so damn entertaining. He probably got a big belly laugh uh, and a knee slap out of Harold Camping. Um, all right. Oh, anyway, that uh, through his kingdom, Jehovah will soon end, end all the suffering for each individual. That was Matthew 6, 9, and 10. In the meantime, <laughs> he tenderly comforts those who sincerely look for him. The religious arts. Uh, Acts 17.27, 2 Corinthians 1, 3, and 4. So there you go. Take comfort in that. If you have do not have a Bible, you can read it online at www.jw.org backslash en. Go to publications, arrow pointing that way, Bible. Think about it. Why does God allow suffering? The Bible answers that question at Romans 5.12 and 2 Peter 3.9. So there's your answer. <sighs> Learn more without cost. And I'll put all that there. So you can go and get saved if you want. Hmm. Oh, that's mighty fine. And ostrich jerky, definitely a winner. Better than that alligator jerky for sure. Anyway, let me know if this changed your life, saved your soul, made everything better. I'd like to hear from you if it did, because that'll make me feel good. Anyway, stay tuned. I got more of this to go through. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having. I guess I'm done for the night. Maybe.